Hello and welcome back. Today we're going through more items that have kindly been sent into my PO box. The address for those that are interested is as follows. Um, now, don't feel obliged to send me coins, gifts or items. I'm more than happy just receiving a letter from you. Everything that comes into the PO box makes it into a PO box video. So if you have sent something that you're waiting to appear, I have got a box of bits that I'm waiting to get through. It's been a little while since we did a PO box video, uh, but hopefully today we'll be able to catch up a little bit and get through some of the backlog of posts that have been accumulating. I also have had other videos that are going up on these Wednesday slots. Um, if you do write to me, if you want to reply, do enclose a, a, an envelope with your address and postage on it. I'm more than happy to um, uh, sign coins and things as long as they're not Benjamin Bunnies. Uh, and uh, if you want to shout out for your YouTube channel, your social media, whatever it is, uh, thank you for writing in to the peer box you're more than welcome to ask for a little shout out on these videos so let's get into the first bit of mail we're going to start with this one i can't show you the side because the address is all over it and there was a bit of a customs form in there that had an address and i don't want to give out everyone's address so i try my best to avoid it oh my goodness so it says dear mr collects are you still collecting year 2000 coins oh well no matter these won't fit through the piggy bank slots anyway uh, here's a 20 coin set of USA BUs from the Philadelphia and Denver Mints. And here are some fun facts for us numis nerds to know. 2000 was the first issue of the fake gold alloy Sacagawea dollar coins. They were issued after the total failure of the Susan B. Anthony Cooper nickel dollar coin, which was often indistinguishable from the quarter dollar even though it was a few microns larger. Google Mrs. Sacagawea, she was the Native American guide for Lewis and Clark's transcontinental expedition in 1803, which was fermented by the guy on the five cents nickel, Thomas Jefferson. Even though they would last at least 30 years in use rather than 18 months like a dollar bill, the golden dollars have been a flop in circulation despite the series and commemoratives. Come to think of it, we don't use coins much at all these days. They have no purchasing power, it's all tap or swipe your plastic card, even to buy a soda from the machine. Virginia was the 10th state to ratify the brand new US Constitution after it had gone into effect in nine more forward-looking colonies. The state quarter program began in 1999 and were, first, and were issued five per year in order that they join the US. Thus, Virginia got the 10th quarter at the tail end of 2000. At the time, 1788, Virginia was the largest and most populous colony, but dragged its feet until it had no choice. Typical. There we go. Uh, notes that the Virginia design has four dates on the reverse. 1788, 1788 for the ratification, 1607 to 2007 for the 400th birthday of Jamestown, uh, the first permanent English settlement in North America, and of course 2000 for when the courts came out. That's kind of interesting. A, f a quadruple dated coin. Uh, the rest of the design is supposed to call to mind the three ships that brought the first Jamestown settlers, the Susan Constant, the Godspeed, and the Discovery. Too bad many of them were quality folk who had no idea how to survive and often didn't in pestilent, pest, pe, mm, pestilential wilderness. Denver, site for the D-Mint Mark, is the capital of Colorado. I didn't know that. Uh, the first US state to legalize... Oh dear. Uh, talk about Martha <laughs> Rocky Mountain High. The dime, quarter, and half dollar were made of 90% silver until 64. I can never remember the um, the year where the US stopped um, putting silver in circulating coins. So when the mint replaced them with clad coinage, uh, cupra nickel surfaces on a pure copper core. The Kennedy half dollar, uh, our least used and, in my honest opinion, most attractive coin, hung on as some kind of 40% silver sandwich in 1965 through to 67. The mintage figures have plummeted in recent years to only a few million. The sandwich coins were supposed to have the same conductivity as the old coins so vending machines could detect them. You might be able to see the brownish copper layer around the edge of, these co of those coins uh, and also on the golden dollar which is clad in an alloy that looks pretty, at least when it's new. Until we got to, uh, until we got used to the weird appearance, we called them hamburger coins. Genuine bronze one cents lasted until 1982 when the mint changed into zinc plated with copper out of sheer cheapness, <laughs> though it still costs about two cents to make a single cent. The cent usually called a penny, though you and I know that's a different thing. 
is basically worthless these days, so we should get rid of it entirely, like Canada did in 2012. Move Abraham Lincoln to the new two to a new two dollar coin, more fitting to the great man. So that's more than you ever wanted to know about these coins and some of the designs on them. UK coins seem much more interesting, especially as featured in your videos. So keep the vids coming. Even the dud coin hunts serve to reassure us viewers there are plenty of fellow numisma nerds around the world. Cheers. Numismatically yours, John Chastain. Wow, well, there we go. A whirlwind tour of uh, US coin history. In interesting packaging, aren't they? So these are the quarters. Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, and Virginia. Oh, very cool. And of course the other coins. So these are all Diva Denver mints. Which are quite cool. And then the, these, I assume they'll be the same coins. But with P4 Philadelphia mints, right? Wow. Well, they are very, very cool. So thank you very much for writing in with these. Next up, I think again, from the US survey, we have this letter. You're the best. <laughs> How sweet is that? Oh, we've got some stamps as well. What does it say? It says, Dear Christopher, I've enjoyed your coin hunts and Britannia Coin Company videos for a while. So when I found out you were also a cat lover, I had to send you the latest cat stamps from the US Postal Service. I know you also collect stamps, so I've included a few others from the US and Canada that have been used. I wanted to send some year 2000 US pennies, but then a package would be needed so the stamps won out as they're flat and light. Keep up the great videos, best David, stack underscore cats on Instagram. Let's have a look then. So these aren't cats, these are, well, these must be the used ones. That's, I love these kind of stamps where it's just one color and it's the uh, the depth or the, the, uh, the darkness of the color which they make up the design with. Project Mercury. Canadian, very pretty, and oh look, new U Lunar New Year Forever USA, and that's a very cute little kitty cat, isn't it? Oh, you can't see, it's a bit blurry. Very cool. Well, thank you very much for those. Next up, we got this one, and uh, please do put some stamps on your on your letters. Uh, I was feeling in a generous mood, so I did pay the fee on this one. Uh, so let's see. It says, Dear Christopher Clex, I'm a massive fan of your channel. I have a 5p coin here. Can you sign it, please? My address is on the back. <coughs> well, unfortunately, there is no coin. There was no tears or anything either, so I don't know where that's got to. So uh, um, apologies for that. Next up, it's not a PO Box video without Simon A. Malata, is it? So we've got another sheet of coins for my world record attempt. Uh, I'm 90% there, so I think I reckon one more big push and I'll be there. Simon has very kindly been sending five cent coins from the uh, land down under to help towards the world record. I don't know what these are about though. Oh, my prize for killing Tony Bennett, you monster. Well, let's have a look. So for any concerned viewers, I did not kill Tony Bennett. That is not what happened. Um, we have got uh, 50 cents, the Northern Territories one. That's very cool. Um, 50 cents, New South Wales. Uh, oh, what's that? Oh, the vol Volunteers 20 cent coin. Stunning design, that one. Um, again, National Year of the Volunteers. 20 cent piece. That's pretty, isn't it? Centenary of Canberra. I can't tell what's going on in that design. There's so much going on. It's, oh, it's a map. I see. It's an aerial map, it looks like. That's really cool. Very nice. Um, Catherine... Oh, uh, Prince, well, the Prince and Princess of Wales, as they are now, at uh, their wedding. That's a, a very questionable portrait of uh, the now Princess of Wales, isn't it? She looks like a, like a gargoyle in that. Deary dear. Um, United Nations 50th anniversary, 20 cent coin. And finally, I can get my fingers around it. A 
Weary Dunlop. As I say, the uh, they served their country in World War II. Oh, I see. Striking design, isn't it? Well, thank you very much for my prize, Simon. Next up, then, we've got this one. It says, Hey, Mr. Collects. I love your videos, Christopher. I'm not a huge collector. Well, maybe not even a small one. Uh, but somehow I found your channel, and now your videos are my daily therapy session. I really appreciate every video. Well, thank you very much. Glad you like them. It says, The Royal Canadian Mint has uh, recently had a coin exchange involved involving some new coins. The coins, <laughs> the coins include, I can't talk, the 2023 $2 National Indigenous People's Day, and the 2023 $1 honouring Elsie McGill. Um, commemorative circulation coins plus the two dollar honor in Queen Elizabeth II special edition circulation coin I really liked the commemorative coin for the Queen so I went specifically for that and thought maybe you'd like a set also the mint had a 2023 two dollar commemorative circulation coin 100th anniversary of the birth of John Paul Riopel Re uh, but they didn't offer that coin here for exchange I know how you feel about colour on coins, but I hope you enjoy these loonies and toonies and the Queen's coin. I think you have a Canadian family connection, which is pretty cool, and I apologise if someone has already sent these to you. Thanks, Christopher. Have a great day. Grizz. I do have family connections. My mother is Canadian, so I've got lots of relatives out in Canada. Um, so I do have a sp soft spot for uh, Canadian coins, and I do quite like... Sometimes coins with colour, they just, they just work, don't they? Let's have a look at these then. Okay then. The first toonie. Look at that. That's glorious, isn't it? Very, very cool. I wish we had some colour on coins in circulation in the UK. I think it would be really eye-catching and could uh, lead to many more people collecting coins. I think that's a, a lovely design. Uh, this is the loonie. Look at that again. It's such a cool design, isn't it? And again, the colour, it doesn't make it look cheap and tacky. It, I think it really works on this coin here. I think it's lovely. And of course, the memorial uh, toonie, I think, is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I did actually purchase one of these. Because um, I was so desperate to get my hands on one. Because I thought it was such a smart idea. Such a clever design. Well, not design, but a clever concept for the memorial of Queen Elizabeth II. So that is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you very much for sending these over. Next up then, we've got this letter. It says, Dear Christopher Collects, I've had some good luck with my two pound coin hunt recently. I've been getting a few 1997 two pound coins, four 2015 Britannias, two Commonwealth Games, Wales and Northern Ireland and lots more good coins, but I'm very desperate to get a Kew Gardens 50p as it's so rare. Now, do you know anything about Definitive Coins of 2023 with King Charles? Since I'm desperate to see them, I'm starting to get a bit worried about the end of the Biometallic £2 coin since I know the Great Fire of London was the last circulating £2 coin except the 2021 Britannia, which I think may not ever go into circulation because it was minted nearly three years ago now. Okay, right. Uh, oh wait, I did hear the King Charles Definitive Coins will be released later this year and I'm starting... Uh, th I'm thinking it may not happen probably because the government are trying to make a switch to digital currency and turn the UK into a cashless society. I'm quite a fan of your channel since I love watching your £2 coin hunts and I'd quite like to meet you in real life one day but I think you live in Scotland. <laughs> I don't live in Scotland no. Um, I recently got some Jersey 10p's since I was there for two days very nice and I do £100 £2 coin hunts when I'm near a bank or post office but I do £500 of £2 coin hunts uh, once per month since I'm still on the lookout for Commonwealth Games Scotland and England and the 2015 Navy Centenary. My YouTube channel is SF22KXX and my profile photo is a photo of a double decker bus. Okay so uh, since you've written that letter the definitive coins have come out um, I must admit, I didn't know an awful lot about them beforehand. Uh, there was a very tight-lipped tight secret by the Royal Mint, but uh, I like them. I think they're awesome, and I hope you like them too. 2021 Britannia and 2022's Britannia, they will go into circulation. They're just sat in the Royal Mint's long store. Um, 
waiting for demand uh, across the country for the coins to be distributed so we should get them at some point in the future do i live in scotland i don't live in scotland i do live in england the best place to come and meet me though is probably at the royal mint i'm next at the royal mint on the 25th and 26th of november for the christmas tours uh, i'm on 12 40 and 12 o'clock for those days respectively so if you want to come along and say hi feel free to and if you can't make this one i generally do let everyone know when i'm going to the royal mint um prior to going so thank you very much for writing in and i hope you managed to find those uh, coins you're looking for I think this might be the last one we're going to open today. Oh my goodness. It says, to Christopher, this is Seth again. You may remember about a year ago I sent a bunch of coins to your PO box in, the, in an evil pink box. Yes, I remember the evil pink box vividly. Well, since sending them, I decided to carry on collecting more with no particular goal in mind. Over the course of a few months, I eventually collected over 750 coins from 2000 for your world record. However, I procrastinated sending them over a few months until your recent Penny Hunt video gave me the motivation to write this letter and send them over, especially with the over 8000 that fans have given you. As well as those pennies, I've also sent some duplicate world coins for your world coin videos. In terms of my recent hunting, I've now found every Komodo 50B excluding Q and Olympics. However, I recently had an amazing hunt. In, in just £60 of 50Ps, I found three common commemoratives. Olympic basketball, my favourite Olympic design. It is a very smart design, I do like that one too. Olympic hockey and Olympic football. The latter two found both in one bag. I was ecstatic, I can imagine so. I hope that you enjoy the things I've sent and that you have a really good rest of your day from Seth. Well, thank you very much. So I will assume then that the uh, duplicate world coins are from the year 2000 in amongst all of these as well towards world record. So I am still working on it. Um, I, I would normally put the coins into my pot, but uh, given that there's quite a lot of coins here, um, I'm going to do that after the video. Otherwise, half of this video is going to be me putting Seth's coins into the pot. But uh, thank you very much for your help towards the world record. Um, I I'm hoping to get a video out kind of soon it's not going to be immediate so don't start asking for it because it's not going to happen immediately but uh, i am hoping that i will get that video out relatively soon but maybe it might be in the into the new year but maybe not depends i've got some free time coming up so that i might be able to burn through some coins but a massive thank you from me to everyone that has kindly written into the p.o box whether you've written into this p.o box a previous p.o box or you're one of the uh, many parcels and letters uh, off to my side still waiting to be opened uh, i will get i will get around to it so just stay tuned for those um, as ever, links are in the description to my coin collecting Discord server if you want to come over and join that. There's also a link to the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel who I work for. It's my day job making videos for them. Uh, links as well to my other social media channels. And there's the peer box address if you want to write into me as well. All it leads me to do now though is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.